Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And some somebody sent me this, and they're trying to trace it, and it comes out like this, which isn't going to work. You can spend hours and hours, and you can. This is one of those cases that it's just easier to draw it, redraw it. And when you think about some things and the way I think about some things, it makes it pretty easy to draw. And here's the one I drew in like two minutes without talking. And it's pretty dead on. I didn't take all that much time. But the, the best way to draw something like this is it's really hard to draw lines at an angle and rectangles at an angle. So think about it that way. You can rotate it and have it like that. Then take you a rectangle about that size and flip it that same 300, 315 degrees. Hit P. This is why I draw in the center of the page because it makes life so easy. Holding down the shift key so it'll grow from the same direction, there you go. Control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the shift key and it'll grow from that, that way. You've got the outside box. This is a little bit different because they've got a large space, small gap, large gap, small gap. But it's really pretty easy to draw. You just need to think about, you need to draw the longest lines first. Get your rectangle tool and just draw you a rectangle close to that shape, zoom in and look at it. We're a little bit thick. So let's change the thickness to 0 0.9, 0.09. We're still a little bit thick. How about 0 0.085? And I've got my ratio lock, so it keeps making it smaller and smaller. You need to be at least out there. I'm gonna set my nudge factor on something really light because I want a bit of uh, zoom in and watch that white part of the line right there and see if I can't get it. We're still a bit thick. Let's go 0 0.08 even. I should have unlocked my ratio. You want this above that line and you want it below that line. You're halfway done. You've got the thickness. Grab that line, control D and make a duplicate and just move it over and get it pretty close. And for the video, I would zoom in if I was doing it for real, control D, and see there's that thick part of the line. Just move it over with your nudge tool till you get it pretty close. Control D, move that one back. We're pretty close. I'm going to grab all of these rectangles by holding down the shift key and I'm gonna group them together, control G. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. I'm gonna start moving them over and then hold down the control button. And you can figure this out mathematically. But, and you see we're there. Grab that one again and control D. Move it over here. Using your nudge distance, barely move it and then control D and it should put it in the right spot. Now here's kind of the key. We're, we're drawing in the center of the page so we know that so we can move stuff away. Let's move away everything we do not need. Let's grab everything and go front minus back. That didn't work. Let's go back minus front. That worked. Get our rectangle and hit P, put it back in the center of the page. Grab your smart fill tool and fill in that edge and voila you have that pattern and then rotate it. Because we've smart filled it, it starts off at zero, so let's rotate it 315 degrees, and there's our smart fill. We made that one a little bit bigger, and then turn this one back to zero, and you can say they're, without taking a lot of time, that's pretty equal. And I don't know what their plans are, if their plans are to cut it out, Left click, right click, and that would cut out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.